Hey, welcome back to See Us Rise Seattle. And uh, today we're going to be talking about Kyle Riley, Riley and how I believe he could be the next big thing in Seattle for catcher. Um, he was drafted in 2018 in the third round overall, or 90th overall. And straight up, this kid can hit. My man is batting a solid three or two seventy four with an on base percentage of three four or three forty four, slugging five twenty nine and an OPS of eight seven three through uh, July eleventh, two thousand twenty one. And as we've been hearing on social media, especially Twitter, um he's gonna be getting called up and I believe he will be starting technically today. Um, this afternoon game, and he, this man's gonna rake, and the only thing I'm worried about with him is what Kellenic did, and struggle, and, but, that's been happening, I mean, look at Wander Franco, he's been struggling, and, I mean, look at Vladimir Guerrero Jr., he was struggling big time when he got called up, and now he's an MVP candidate, Otani probably will win it, but Vladimir Guerrero Jr. is a close second, I'd say. Um, but back to Cal. Defensively, gr- great. He's only made one error this year behind the dish. He's he has that makes it a nine nine seven fielding percentage, and he plays a little bit of first. But we're gonna be starting him at catcher unless we need the need at first, like, if France gets hurt, and Bowers gets hurt, and we're screwed, then we'll put him at first, but I don't really see him playing first much, especially earlier, but I'm excited to see this guy hit, I mean, he was on that, what, 27 game hitting streak in AAA, and he can hit with some power, he reminds me of a Jorge Posada, good defense, and he's gonna give you a little bit of pop in that bat, I see him hitting in his prime, like realistically, like a two ninety, maybe two eighty. Like this is like prime prime with twenty home runs in a season. Like that would be a good season for Cal. And honestly, the honestly, I could see him being an all star catcher. Um, but the thing is though, is that he's not top ten in the prospects for MLB pipeline, which confuses me because I feel like he definitely deserves there. He definitely deserves to be top ten. And people aren't talking about him. They're talking about Kellenic, Julio, and uh, Gilbert. All those three young guys. They're not talking about, like, Novelli, Marte, even though he's young. Um, and Cal and players like that. We have a very strong farm system. And I believe we could be very good in the next couple of years. I think Jerry DePoto up in uh, the GM uh, area, he's doing a really good job he's turned this team around i mean as of now i think we're 48 43 i'm not really looking right now um but yeah we're wait we're like 49 no we're 40 42 we're six games above above 500 we're looking for maybe even a playoff push this year and we weren't supposed to even have a playoff push till next year supposedly but it's looking good for us. So that's uh really strong. I'm really looking forward to this team in the next couple of years. This is See Us Rise Seattle and we are out of here.